What is up guys welcome to the channel we're back at it today with another car review so this time guys this is a car we've done already but there's the difference in this video as you saw in the title we are actually doing four cars in one day what four cars we're doing the Dodge Charger 2019 models all right now the whole point of this is pretty much I know they're you know 2019 we're going into 2020 really my goal in this video is to explain the difference between the RT actually the scat pack the RT the GT and the SXT all right so let's get right into it and we'll look at the lineup that we're working with today As you can see, we got all these cars ready to review just for you guys. The things that Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ocala does for you guys. The guys want you to see exactly what they're putting out. And right now, from what they're telling me, they have a huge lineup of chargers. And they're actually moving very fast. They have a lot of dealerships calling in to move them out. So if you're looking for one, these are the ones to get. Let's quickly start this video off with the price points. So this one right here, this is the SXT. This is around, I would say, uh, around twenty-five to twenty-eight. It starts off at twenty-eight thousand dollars, brand new. Here's the actual GT. We're going to be also reviewing. That's the SXT Plus. But this is a GT, and these start around close to twenty-eight thousand, uh, probably in the thirty thousand dollar range. All right. This is the actual Hemi. Um, this is a 3.7, a 5.7 liter Hemi. This has um, 375 horsepower. Um, as you can see, if they did um, Daytona edition, the Daytona edition does come in for the Scat Pack, which is like the 6.4 liter and the 5.7 liter. This one just happens to come with the 5.7. Now this is the actual um, SXT Plus, pretty much a GT. Um, the way I explain it is the GT is pretty much um, an upgraded SXT. That's all it is. It doesn't have the V8. It's got the V6 engine and it's got all the bells and whistles inside. Much nice. Very nice inside. And this is the, obviously the most famous one that we know of. This is actually the Scat Pack. It's the most popular one I would believe on the, on the market. Reason being it's got the 6.4 liter SRT engine which is also an upgrade um, compared to the 5.7. It is an RT. They stopped making this SRT, but also you're getting so much horsepower for a great price. The next model up, which is your Hellcat, is gonna cost you probably around $30,000 more than, than this car. So you're getting so much for your, you know, for your buck here. So let's get right onto the exterior and tell the differences between these cars. So we're going to start off with this SXT. Obviously the grill is much different. Um, you'll see later on the grill is just, you know, comes out a little bit. There is no extra, I guess you can say, um, you know, where the radiator is and all that stuff. There's no airflow as much as you would see the other ones. It's very basic. Um, this is a beautiful color. It's just high octane red. Uh, the very basic charger does not have any hood scoops or anything of the sort. It's just a basic car. <laughs> very tough for me to even get into the exterior but as we go through the other cars we'll start noticing the differences this one does not have a spoiler um, but it does have a backup camera so that's pretty cool it's got your normal back of your bars there so that's pretty much this car I can't really get into much that's the outside of this car we'll pick up on the inside in just a moment when we finish with the other cars all right, so now we are on to the SXT Plus, guys. This is pretty much what the GT is. Now, as you can see, compared to this guy over here, we're starting to add a little bit more upgrades. If you look at the hood scoop, you have a functioning hood scoop. Um, the grill no longer has that ugly piece on it. It's a lot nicer. That mouth on the bottom looks a little more aggressive. 
You have free bumper guards. I'm kidding. That was a joke. The rims. They're a little more, they're obviously more upgraded. If you check out this one, very basic. Also, you can tell it's a larger rim. I do not know the exact size. As we travel to the back, we have one more, uh, more aggressive uh, spoiler. Actually, I was wrong. It is a GT. My apologies. So it is a GT. So this meaning that it's going to have a lot more bells and whistles with it. A quick look at the back here, as you can tell, the actual muffler has, you know, a little more rounded versus the SXT does not. It's just more, it fills in the hole there and it's just more uh, square. Now we have the 5.7 liter um, Dodge Challenger Hemi. This is a 5.7 liter versus um, the before we we're looking at with the GT. Now I want to keep in mind that this is the, um, the Daytona edition. The Daytona edition does come with a 6.4 liter, but this one in particular is the 5.7. What you're getting with this obviously is a little more um, features. You got your uh, accents here. It says Hemi here on the back. It says Daytona. You have a black spoiler, which is very nice. Same mufflers as the actual GT. Um, the GT, though, does have a little bit smaller tips, while this one is much larger. You can tell by a little bit there, which is pretty nice. As far as the body lines go, it's the exact same car. There is no difference. So pretty much your difference in price is jumping up um, a couple thousand dollars, probably almost ten thousand dollars just because of the engine alone. And of course, this one has some accents to it, which is a great deal. The rims are obviously a gunmetal black, you can tell the difference. A little more aggressive looking. The grill is uh, obviously the same, just like the GT. Uh, the difference is you got a Daytona in the front, while this one just says Dodge. The actual lines in the front are pretty much the same. You have the open mouth there, the hood scoop. Uh, the difference here obviously is the graphic and you have the black roof as you can see here. So now we're on to the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. Personally my favorite, I own the Challenger and this Dodge Charger, sorry, is just absolutely gorgeous. Now you can tell the difference, now we're starting to see more upgrades. The cool thing about this car is you can see the difference, uh, the same, has the same hood scoop just like the SXT Plus and the RT over there, the Daytona. The mouth is the same, but the difference in the scat pack is it's got these snorkels right here. So basically for some uh, some air intake, which is pretty nice. I really like it. It looks like it's a bull. It's ready to growl at you. The body lines are exactly the same. It's got the side skirts. The rims are different. They're a little more glossy here, but I do know if you wanted some, you can swap them out you know with your choice you have different badging normally on your hemis um there, it says hemi without that 392 but this is the sxt so it might have the 392 hemi or it might have the b for the scat pack so as you can see this is very similar to the daytona it's got that flat black um spoiler this is obviously the all white which is very nice the back over here we do have our, our badging is a little bit different we have the bumblebee the actual tips of the muffler is a lot larger. It's just like the RT that we saw over there, the Daytona. And like I pointed out before, the wheels are just pretty much, you know, a glossed out wheel. You can get different ones if you wanted. I personally like those Daytona wheels much better than these. All right, let's check out the interior of the cha Charger. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. All right. First off the bat, what I'm noticing with the SXT it has a much smaller screen. I'm going to turn on this car because I am extremely hot. Very quiet. Not, not a big fan of the actual sound of the engine. But it's just preference. It doesn't sound, I'm used to a rumble. Um, I've seen RTs. RTs are very impressive when they turn on. So this one does not have that. But we'll see with the GT. <sighs> Obviously, it's got the much more updated, italicized numbers. Uh, 2019, the actual top up here is a little bit more rubberized. Your screen is smaller. It's around, I want to say 5 inches, 5.4 inches. 
for, or if not something around that area versus the other ones are much larger our vents are a little more square so it just looks very basic i've seen many rental cars like this and that's pretty much it cloth interior even the door panels are cloth so that's another thing that's different um you have some leather accent here let's turn let's turn on this uh screen and see how it is so screen on oh, okay i muted it i'm used to muting it so it's something on the 2019 models this turns it off on mine it actually mutes it this is your screen it's got the compass tells you exactly where you're going it doesn't it's not a navigation all right it's radio um you got your media player obviously you had nothing connected sxm you know you still get that stuff you have your apps it doesn't have much because like i said it's a basic it's a basic sxt it's your their base model all right um you do have usb ports and you have an auxiliary cable you have two of them which is pretty nice uh, mine my challenger in particular only has one and your 12c your back seat room will be the same as you can see we have another set of usb ports we have two vents back there and that's the good thing about chargers they have great leg room and that's always been a good thing with these guys cloth seats in the back oh okay we're we gonna mm. cloth seats you know all the way around nothing new i apologize for the glare <laughs> your steering wheel very basic nothing new um, you have your actual call and hang up and voice record. You can talk to your car. Press a button. Now it's here. It's waiting for me to say something. And that's pretty much it. It does have adaptive. It does have cruise control. Um, that's a cool thing. The speedometer says 140. So that will be something that we see a big difference in on the next car. All right. Let's get right into the GT. All right. So now we're on the actual GT. Now, if you'll notice. This actually has the Alcantara seats with the leather outside, which is a much upgraded car. To be honest with you, you really couldn't tell the difference between this car and a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack interior-wise, just looking at it. There may be more. The difference is you're not going to have, you'll have a, um, an actual stitching of a, of a B maybe or an RT, but this one right here is just pretty, pretty much everything else. The actual... Uh, dash of the car feels a little bit more rubberized just more than the actual sxt very different there the speed the uh, speedometer up here still says 140 nothing new much larger screen as i pointed before the other one was about this small now this one's about your standard size let's turn it on and here's the engine The engine pretty much sounds the same, nothing new. Now, if you look around the car, it's got leather door panels versus the other one only had cloth. You have the Alcantara seats, like I pointed out to you. This right here is a little bit more of a, a chrome, I chrome, I'm sorry, like a, what's the word, like a gun metal or a carbon fiber look. Feels really nice, has different texture. It is hot in these cars, and I'm sorry if you can hear the AC. Same font, it's italicized, and that's pretty much all you're getting. Now, I noticed that there is some um, memory seats here. You have your one and your two. I don't know what the S stands for. I'll be completely honest with you. Never seen that one before. Might be something else. Um, oh, that's the set probably, I'm assuming. Either way, that's that. We still have the same back. Oh, get my arm out of the... So we still have the you know the seats in the back great room alcantara seats all the way throughout leather seats in the back corner over there if you can see past the glare my apologies and that's pretty much it the screen is much larger um there is no navigation that i'm seeing here but i'm sure that's an upgrade you can get on your car the ac is much nicer in this car as well um you have a lot more apps radio media um, that's pretty much it. You can control it. This one does have heated seats while the other one did not. So that's, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good deal there. Okay. All right. 
for some reason the automatic start was not work I mean the automatic open but the automatic start is all right now we're starting to look into the big boys we're upgrading a little bit now we are in the actual RT the Daytona and there, to be honest with you there's nothing different now actually there is something different if you look at the seats it's got these nice groove stitchings and it's pretty much Alcantara it's just, like I said it has stitching here it says Daytona which is pretty cool AC works the same the dash the speedometer on the dash says 160 when before the other one was 140 all right now I have it on automatic start gotta press brake there we go now I'll actually start getting some cool weather here um, another thing that you can see here this one does have navigation so there is an upgrade in your actual settings which is pretty nice you can go work home you know where to you have your Sirius XM and you got music media climate controls to control your seats so that's the interior as you can see guys there isn't that much difference as we're going up in the models the only thing that I'm seeing the difference is maybe a little bit of tension to detail um, the seats are a little bit nicer the screens a little bit larger the engine from the SXT to the GT they're the big difference the GT was a beautiful car inside now we're in the RT and there's a little more detail but it's actually the same car inside um, this does have navigate uh, navigation versus before it didn't but other than that that's pretty much what we're looking the engine is the biggest difference in the RT versus the GT a lot more aggressive and a beautiful sounding engine holy cow that thing it sounds great for stock it's very impressive this does have a super track mode here so if I press that you can obviously control your um, launch control your engine um, you have your traction see here you can mess with your RPMs etc etc so it's pretty neat it's got the same uh finish as the other car did um that's pretty much it it's got everything the same cup holders you get your usbs like i said guys the difference in these cars you're going to start noticing is the actual um features the little bells and whistles all right let's get right into the scat pack Oh my gosh, it's hot out there. The things I do for you guys. All right, we are in the scat pack now in the interior. What's the big deal, right? Now the dash is 180. We are now with 485 horsepower. The beauty of this car, you heard that engine, it was so freaking loud. I'm really questioning because I think the 2016 model was just very quiet and for the model itself that year. But now these 2019s, holy cow, they're freaking loud and aggressive. This one now, the screen is obviously the same size as the RT, much bigger. Um, if you notice, we did not see a smaller screen. I do want to keep in mind, though, the RT does actually come with a smaller screen. It just happens to be the one that we looked at didn't. Um, as you can see, we have navigation, just like the other one. We have radio, SXM, all serious radio. Actually, they all do. You have your apps. You have your phone. Nothing new. We have drive modes, a little bit more different drive modes. The other one, if you notice, it did not, um, it had a super track mode. This one, on the other hand, has, you can adjust the suspension, the paddle shifters, et cetera, et cetera. Before, you can, you know, obviously your transmission is sport, track. You can do a little more things than you could with that RT, it seems like, um, at least from what I'm seeing. The actual interior, like I pointed out before, guys, is, if you notice, it's got the bumblebee, so that's normal on these scat packs mine in particular has the rt logo it does have the alcantara seats which is very nice um very comfortable you have leather stitching across uh black leather stitching throughout the whole thing and of course as you're seeing the prices on the videos pop up for every car this is pretty much what you're getting this is the difference and if you notice it's a little bit different in the front of the car you have your memory seats as well and you have your back seat room your back seat room is great all alcantara seats throughout all great things about this car so the difference between the rt obviously just a little bit more features in the front you have a much bigger engine you have 
what? Now I'm not 160. This is the other one was 160. This is 180. <coughs> um, you have the same interior cup holders, things like that. You do have a launch control button, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what that launch control will do. You got to do all that. Anyways, I got to change some stuff. I'm not even gonna mess with that stuff. But that's the interior of the Scat Pack. Like I said, the difference is pretty much the engines. Like every time we're going up, it's usually an engine. Um, the interior is all the same. It's always been my pet peeve a little bit as I'm getting older with these cars. Every new year, they're coming out with something, it's the same. But the performance is always improving and that's why I continue to love Dodge. They're just throwing horsepower in these cars and always performing better every single time. So I'm very happy with this part. All right, now let's get into the engine. All right, guys, so I went ahead and took the liberty of opening all the hoods. I did not open the red one because of the fact that it's the same engine as this one right here, the GT. So I'm just going to keep it that way. So let's get right into the GT, all right? It's very lackluster. It's the V6. Um, as you got your cold air intake, you can see the differences. Um, 3.6 liter V6. And that's pretty much it. This is what you got. There is no force, you know, air conditioning. This is pretty much where the air comes through. And that's pretty much it. Let's get into the Hemi. The cool thing, the thing I don't like about Hemis, oh, I love Hemis actually, let me stop there. <clears throat> but my knock on Dodge is they never really change this engine. Why fix something that isn't broken, right? But still, I just wish they would do something different. Um, I do love this actual intake, it's very nice. I believe this is something special to this model. Um, this. Uh, this air filter is very cool looking, which is very nice. So that's that one. I think it's something special to the Daytona, and I could be wrong, but I think that's what that is because I really think it actually comes with this box. Now we're over to the Scat Pack, and you can tell the engine is a power SRT engine. If you look at the old 2016, 15, and 7, you know, 15s, 16s, and 17s, and 18s, they all have this SRT engine. Nothing has really changed. So once again, if it isn't broken, why fix it? Um, I personally took this guy off and put a different cold air intake, but as you can tell, this is why I think that RT over there is an upgrade because here's the scat pack and it's actually got the lid on it. And that's your engine, guys. This guy right here is 485 horsepower. This beautiful one over here is 305. And this one right here is 375. Now keep in mind these are actually on sale. They have um as you can see the prices that I'm putting up, this is what's listed on the website. But I want to let you guys know that they're actually having a deal with Dodge. It's ten dollars per horsepower. So for example, this guy right here is 485 horsepower, therefore it's gonna be four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars off of your of your purchase price. Three hundred and five, so it'll be three thousand and fifty dollars off your purchase price and this guy is 375 so it'll be three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars off your purchase price so i'm just giving you guys a heads up there um this red one over here is much cheaper obviously than the gt because it comes with more features but this one is three thousand and fifty dollars off your purchase price so you're pretty much getting the same discount for these two cars here so the time being, we're actually going to do a quick review on the actual drive of these cars. Like I said, I'm not going to drive the SXT just because it's the same engine in the GT. There's not much difference. So I'm just, for time's sake, I'm going to stick it to these three here. Your Scat Pack, your RT, and your GT. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, um, sorry the video has kind of took a turn as far as me. Uh, the next step was to be driving the cars. I did drive the cars, but the problem was... Um, the, uh, I didn't have a license plate on the cars, so the dealers were pretty busy and they couldn't get me a license plate because they were using it on the lot currently with people who were buying cars. So I did get to drive the car around a little bit, but I didn't really get good video, but I will tell you exactly my analysis on the cars. I'm going to keep it quick. Um, the SX, the GT, I'm sorry, I keep on saying the SXC throughout the whole video. The GT, um, very smooth and it very responsive. I think the reason why it was so smooth and responsive because of the lack of power that the GT has. It's not a V8, obviously, so um, it was just very smooth and responsive. The drive was very nice. Uh, the I thought personally that it's a perfect car for somebody who just likes the look of the Charger and has the you know all the bells and whistles of that, that of the Charger. 
just minus the performance of it. But other than that, it was, it was a really good car. I'm um, very impressed. The RT was very responsive, and I'm much more impressed with that RT than I thought I would be because I used to have an RT, and this was totally different. Granted, mine was a 2012, this is a 2019, but this was a lot more aggressive, a lot louder, and it just seemed like a rubber band, if I can explain, like a real tent rubber band. Just really, really tight. When I pressed that gas, it just wanted to go. It wanted me to press that gas the way it felt. Very tense. Now, the scat pack was expected. It was just a beast. Um, an amazing car. Uh, very responsive as well. <clears throat> Very uh, hugged the road very well. Uh, the um, the roar was real real nice when you punched it. It was real, the difference between the RT, believe it or not, and the Scat Pack. It seemed like the RT had a lot louder cold start versus the Scat Pack. I don't know, maybe it was because the car was on earlier before I got there. I don't know if that was the case, but it just seemed like the RT was a little bit louder. But when I punched the gas on the scat pack, it was much louder. Um, all in all, that's my uh, that's my analysis on those cars driving. Um, very impressive, and we're gonna get right back into the video and finishing it off. Guys, um, I want you guys, if anything, if you guys, I'm at Phillips Chrysler. Guys, I'm at Phillips Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Ocala, Florida. And if you guys do come out this way, please. And you're gonna come look at some cars and you know you guys watch my channel please give them my name tell them that you saw you know them on on my channel and um, my crew sent you it really does help me get more cars to do more car reviews for you guys it's, it's a true blessing that they're actually being comfortable to give me four cars to do you know to review in one day with no problem at all I really I had this idea and they were totally on for it and they've been great my buddy John is the um, it's the car salesman that's been helping me out and he's been amazing every time he gets me a car and lets me review it for you guys so john joiner his information will be here somewhere and um please it'll also be in the description so if you're looking for a car come out and let him take care of you he's just a great guy all the way around know his mopar all right guys um that's the video i don't need to break it down even more your main difference is really much to sum it all up you're paying for your engine that's the difference in the prices all three of these cars is your engine and you have features that obviously are going up in my opinion i would stay with the gt don't go with the sxt sxt was very basic as you saw but the gt pretty much had everything the rt and scat pack had just not the badging and not the engine so if you're looking for that look but you don't want that power because you don't need it i would go with the gt but if you're going to start looking for a little bit of power you don't want to spend too much money your RT is the best bet. And then bang for your buck, if you got a couple, you know, a little bit more money, scat pack all the way. The horsepower is there. Dodge does a great job with these cars. And if you can really afford it, get a Hellcat. But obviously I couldn't get my hands on a Hellcat. But the beauty of the scat pack, like I said, it's so affordable compared to your Hellcat. It's $30,000 cheaper, yet it's still got the bite and and freaking drives like a like a beast all right so that's my thing guys i thank you so much if you got this far please smash a like subscribe turn on the notifications it really helps me out i want to thank you guys again for watching my videos it really doesn't mean the world to me i love you guys i will see you on the next one peace